everybody, it's Alison here at Le Calabash. Um, we're going to share with you today one of our favourite desserts that we love to do with our, our clients who come to Le Calabash. Um, it's always a big hit, it's a beautiful dessert, it's summery, it's fresh, all the strawberries in season now, so it's um, you know great time to, to make this dessert. We're going to do um, our Vacheran, um, which is our own take on the Vacheran, and um, we're going to share that with you today, and I've got Sid with me helping me which is fantastic. Okay, hi, here we go. Uh, part of um, Alison's uh, Vacheran or Pavlova. Um, we like to use a Genoise for it, and you'll see later on to go as we put together and assemble it. Um, Genoise is really simple to make. Um, we're just going to make a simple uh, vanilla Genoise. What's really important is, is um, Make sure you've got really good ingredients. The, um, the eggs are so, so important. We use local um, free range eggs from a farmer down the road. The butter, make sure the butter is 82% or 84% butter you're using. Once again, a really good butter. And um, instead of using vanilla pods because they're so expensive at the moment, we're using a, a, a vanilla extract, which is very good as well, very expensive now uh, because of the shortage of vanilla and we've got a um, all-purpose flour there. Um, really simple, what we're going to do is we're going to take our butter, put it into a pan and we're going to melt it, okay, there we go. Um, as I said, make sure the butter is um, 84%. Got our mixing bowl, I like to start off with uh, Get my eggs in there and uh, get my caster sugar in there and I like to bring it together with a whisk first before I put it in the machine, okay? Let me just make sure that egg and that sugar is well brought together and we do that just before we bring it over to the stove and we've got a double boiler on here Okay, and we take our bowl, put it onto the double boiler, and we start bringing it up. And basically what we're looking for is we're looking for a zabillon, okay? We want to just heat that up and warm it up. And basically what it does is, is the, um, the sugar in there melts into the egg and bits it, brings it together really nicely. There we go. I think we're good. We already got double in volume there. There we go. I'm going to take that off now. And I'm going to bring that over to my machine now. Take that off. Put it onto my machine, onto my mixing machine. And here we go. That won't take long. Bring it up and on full speed. Let's get through, okay? Got my butter ready there. And what I like to do is add my vanilla extract now. Make sure it's nice and generous. So we want that vanilla flavor to come through. Okay, there we go. Through there. Voila. Okay, we have got them and take that off and if you look into there you can see that's really nice okay see that lightness there okay and that's a, essentially a really good zabi on that uh, you take it that and you put a few little strawberries or uh, seasonal fruit on the plate and you pour that over the top and you put it in the oven for just two three minutes or you flame it with the um, um, with your um, uh, blowtorch, really great, okay? So, there we go. What we're going to do now is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sit our flour into that and Alison is going to help me there. What she's going to do is just um, take the um, flour and just slowly just give it the odd shape now and again um, while I fold it in. 
Okay, and I'm going to fold it in with, first of all, I'm going to fold it in with my um, whisk, okay? There we go. Okay. I'm going to make sure that goes through well. Okay. Oh, that's looking good. Yeah. And I can just see how that flower is blending into the gem. Was really nice. There we go. Last bit. Okay. There we go. So I use I use the whisk just to bring it through. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Make sure that's really in there good. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use my spatula now to fold it through. Just check through that it's really through nicely. And that's beautiful and smooth. And now I add my butter. Okay. Add your butter slowly. Um, could you just hold the handle there for me, Al? Sure. Thank you. There we go. And yes. Fold it, bring it over the bottom and look at my hand and look at how I use my spatula. I bring it up from the bottom and I add the butter slowly. Okay, don't add it too fast. You want to make sure it blends through nicely. Okay, there we go. Oh my lord, this is good. Okay. And what I've done, I've stopped and just left a little bit away in the pot there because I don't want to add that, okay? And there we go. There's my Genoa's mix there. That's really good. Take my tray. And what I'm going to do now is pour that into the tray. And you really don't need a a palette knife to 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 to, to, to um, level that out. Just the, um, the pressure on the pot there. Just go around the side of the pan on each side. There we go. We don't want to shake it too much. You mustn't do that too much because the air will come out of the gin was Okay. We need a bit there in that corner there. That's lovely. Okay, and here we go. That's how simple it is. That's going to go into the oven now. The oven is on um, 200, and that goes into the oven now. And that should take around about 12 to 14 minutes, and it'll be great. here which I actually separated from the egg yolks yesterday and left them in the fridge overnight. Pop, I'm going to pop those into my kitchen egg bowl. I'm just going to whisk them up until they're a little bit frothy. Just like so. And here I have some fecule. We like to use fecule or potato starch in, in our meringue because um, um, often meringue can be quite chewy. This makes the meringue very crisp and very sort of melt in your mouth, so we like to use that. I'm going to add the fecule to the sugar, my caster sugar, and add that to the egg whites. Okay. Turn that back on. And then bring that onto a high speed and bring it to a nice firm meringue. So, what I'm going to do is turn the machine off. I've got my nice firm meringue. I'm going to add a little bit of the raspberry aroma. And just start up slowly. Whisk that in. Bring it up to a high speed. And whisk it through. And that's a lovely pink colour. And I can, I can smell that raspberry aroma coming off that meringue. Next step, 
I'm going to take my icing sugar and I'm going to sieve that in so it's there's no luck it's nice and fine and it push through the rest of the spoon like so sugar, the confectioner sugar into the meringue. And I'm folding it but I'm folding it quite vigorously because I, I don't want any lumps and bumps so I want it to be nice and smooth and shiny and I want all that icing sugar to be well mixed in. And there we have it nice smooth pink fluffy meringue because that gives me a guide to how big I want to pipe this base. I'm going to just take that paper off for a second, pop out my nozzle, and just pipe little, little meringue just on each corner, and that's going to stick down the paper so it doesn't move around. It's like a little trick. And then we're going to pipe our base. And you want to hold your bag up and pipe in a circle. going to finish it off with our little rosettes. like so. And what I have here, I just have some little pieces of um, raspberry, crispy raspberry. And what's nice is if you add a few of those just randomly here and there, it'll add a little bit of crispy texture. temperature 125 degrees centigrade uh, even 120 very low um, and it's just going to dry out in the oven for a, probably about an hour and a half and at that stage I'll just turn off the oven and leave it in the oven for a few hours just to um, dry out nicely so um, what Alison has done is she's made some um, parfait um, I mean, we can share with you on another day. Mm -hmm. um, and what we're going to do is a frozen parfait. Um, 
I've got the same cut as the same of the size of the buffet, which you'll see in a minute. And I'm just going to cut out two shapes of the um, genoise there. There we go. And just press it out like that. So we have the two pieces of genoise there like that. Okay. The buffet that Alison made early on. Okay. Uh, exactly the same size, the same ring as what I've just cut out. And to get that out, you just take your hand and the warmth of your hand will release it. Don't use a blow torch or anything like that, it's unnecessary. Okay, just the warmth of your hand will slowly warm up the metal and then you can just press it out on top of that, like that there. There we go. Okay, really nice. Take that one. You put that at the top there like that. What Alison's going to do now, she's going to uh, pipe the chantilly cream. Chantilly so cream. the chantilly cream, we've just um, whipped up the cream and we've added a little bit of vanilla, uh, vanilla um, paste, and we've added icing sugar. So it's going to pipe her. I'm going to put a little bit of raspberry liqueur on the top of my sponge there, okay, on top of my genoise. Okay. Okay. It's going to take our ice cream sandwich, if you want to call it that. We're going to push that down the center there like that. And Alison is going to give a nice layer of um, the Chantilly cream around that. Oh, wow, that looks good. A huh? little bit of cream on the top as okay. well. Side then. Oh, love down the side and set. Wow, that looks good. Okay. Because then our lovely strawberries, raspberries, blackberries. We've got some red currants. Some red currants on the stalks there. Wow. And we have some borage. Oh, we've got some borage from our garden. There's no it's mint at the moment, um, not come up yet. And um, what Alison's doing now, just layering the fruit around that thing. Okay. I love the strawberries, they're really nice. They're really sweet. And there we go. Look at that. When you serve this to your guests, you've got such a nice surprise underneath, eh? you have that, uh, that um, ice cream sandwich if you want to call it that, right underneath. You've got some little um, tiny baby meringues. Well, I love those. Ready, just to uh, give another little bit of crunch. We've got a little porridge flowers which come out of the garden. This year we've just had a tremendous amount of porridge and it's come out so much um, such a, a few weeks before the time, hasn't it? Oh, it's, it's like yeah. everywhere, it's beautiful. A sprinkling of sugar. Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. One of my favourite, favourite dishes. Your pavlova. A few more porridge on there. Oh, is that lovely one? And can you imagine you have some friends around and you surprise them, especially if it's a birthday party or a, or a, a celebration. We love putting the sparkle in it whenever it's somebody's birthday. There we go. And um, here we go. Bon appetit. I hope you enjoy. It's so easy to make at home. Um, and uh, please do make one and um, if you do make one we would love you to share it with us here at La Calabash. Please send us a photo um, and if you do have any questions or you'd love any recipes, please don't hesitate to ask us, okay? Thank you very much.